So looking at the center stack screen here, our main screen here is gonna be our audio screen. Under audio, you can go in here and you can click sources. You can look at your, your phone, Sirius XM, AM and FM. Now you do get the three months free of Sirius XM with all new Ford vehicles. And what's really cool about here is you can save AM, FM and XM all across the bottom here. So you don't have to switch between AM, FM or XM. Uh, it's just all right there at a touch of a button. Now, as far as sounds, you can uh, connect your phone, use all of your apps. Apps will also show up under apps when we get to it. Another thing is gonna be your Apple and Android CarPlay. So this is gonna be a sync for system. So you don't have to plug in to make Apple CarPlay work or make Android CarPlay work. All you do is Bluetooth your phone to the car and then it will pop up on the screen for you. Uh, for me personally, I use CarPlay all the time. Our next tab is gonna be phone. So you can add your phone, go through all of your contacts, have it read text messages to you. Um, it is a whole bunch of different features with the phone when you add it. And it's really nice and user-friendly. You can use everything from your steering wheel so you don't actually have to click on here to get to your contacts or your text messages. The next one's gonna be navigation. So you have navigation here. Now in navigation, we can make the map full screen here. Now you can use this, this is a built-in navigation through Ford, or you can use your CarPlay navigation. Um, the built-in navigation is actually really nice and super user-friendly. You can use your Ford Assistant from your steering wheel and it'll pretty much take you anywhere you wanna go. Um, it's a very, very simple system to use. Now, if you wanna make that small again, you click there. Now under apps, you have a couple that shows already. You can have your CarPlay, Android Auto, um, but once you download your phone or Bluetooth your phone to the car, all of your apps that are connected to the sync system will show up on here. So all you have to do is tap Pandora or whatever you're using for music or Dunkin' Donuts app. There's a whole bunch of things that pop up on there. And you could just click right on it. Now under features, and we'll come back to settings. Under features, this is where you're gonna find your owner's manual, which is the digital owner's manual. You can set up your towing for whatever trailer you have. You can do your zone lighting. Zone lighting is where you can have the lights turn on the outside of the car all around. You can select them one at a time. And just to kind of show you, we'll just over right here. We'll turn them on. Now, if I want to turn that light on, the outside light is on. If I want to turn the back, I can do that. If I want to turn the front, the front's on. And just to show you, front's on. And then you have side lights. Let's turn those off. Under features, you also have your driver assistant features. So you can go through and have your cruise control, lane keeping, any safety feature you want, you can go through and turn it on and off in there. Now under settings, settings is where you can change obviously all the settings on the car. Um, some neat ones though under vehicle are gonna be your locks. Now locks, when you do the remote, you can either have it just open the driver's door or both doors. So whatever you feel more safe doing, you can do there. You do have your remote start setup remote start setup well when you auto start it from your ford pass app or from your key fob you can have it set to auto or to last setting i always suggest auto because it'll read the temperature outside so it's 34 degrees right now so it have my heated seats heated steering wheel and heat on in the car for me now some other settings in here you are going to have your ford assistant you can set that all up in here you can listen to wake words so if you say okay ford it would read your voice and a kick on a command for you. So for instance, we'll click there, preferred wake word. Okay, Ford. Now you say your command. Tune to 55 Sirius XM. Tuning to channel 55. And it kicks me right to channel 55. So I like Ford Assistant and the wake words and all that stuff. Um, because it is a super easy system to use. Now, as far as over here with this side tab, these are all swipeable screens. So if we just click up and down and we go through here and we're looking at the off-road setting, the pitch that we're sitting at, you can see your trip, your phone. Now say I wanted phone to be over there. Phone, and it pops up right there. So this is all swipeable technology. All you gotta do is just swipe on over. Now you can tap that there if you wanted, if you didn't wanna swipe, but I think it's really neat to just swipe across. 
Now, something that's really neat is you just tap the numbers and you can change it. I know with a lot of vehicles, you have to go into settings, click clock and go through it. All you gotta do is click the 403 and change this to whatever you need it to be. There are a ton of things you can do with this screen. Uh, this is just a brief overview on it, but it is a very nice tool. And it's nice that Ford made it user-friendly, very simple to use. 